Kashagan Field is an offshore oil field in Kazakhstan zone of the Caspian Sea. The field, discovered in 2000, is located in the northern part of the Caspian Sea close to Atirayu and is considered the world's largest discovery in the last 30 years, combined with the Tengiz field. It is estimated that the Kashagan field has recoverable reserves of about 13 billion barrels of crude oil. Harsh conditions, including sea ice during the winter, temperature variation from a 35 to 40 degree Celsius, extremely shallow water and high levels of hydrogen sulfide, together with mismanagement and disputes, make it one of the most challenging oil mega-projects. Commercial production began in September 2013. It has been designated as the main source of supply for the Kazakhstan-China oil pipeline. CNN Money estimates that development of the field had cost 116 billion US dollars as of 2012, which made it the most expensive energy project in the world, while other sources report the cost at up to 50 billion dollars. A stake in the field was acquired by the Chinese government in September 2013 after Xi Jinping struck a deal with Kazakhstan for around 5 billion dollars. History Interest in the Caspian Sea first began in 1992 when an exploration program was announced by the Kazakh government. They sought the interest of over 30 companies to partake in the exploration. In 1993 the Kazakhstan Caspian Shelf was formed which consisted of ENI, BG Group, BP Statoil, Mobil, Royal Dutch Shell and Total SA, along with the Kazakh government. This consortium lasted four years until 1997 when seismic exploration of the Caspian Sea was undertaken. Upon completion of an initial 2D seismic survey in 1997, the company became Offshore Kazakhstan International Operating Company. In 1998 Philips Petroleum Company and Inpex joined the consortium. Kashagan was discovered in 2000. The consortium changed when it was decided that one company was to operate the field instead of joint operatorship as had been agreed before. ENI was named the exclusive operator in 2001. In 2001 BP Statoil sold their stake in the project to the remaining partners. With ENI as the operator, the project was renamed Egypt Kazakhstan North Caspian Operating Company NB. In 2003, BG Group attempted to sell their stake in the project to two Chinese companies, CNOOC and Simwood. However, the deal did not go through due to the partners' exercise of their preemptive privileges. Eventually, in 2004 the Kazakh government bought half of BG's stake in the contract, with the other half shared out among other five Western partners in the consortium that had exercised their preemptive rights. The sale was worth approximately $1.2 billion. The Kazakh stake was transferred to the state-owned oil company Kazmoney Gas. On September 27, 2007, the Parliament of Kazakhstan approved a law enabling the government to alter or cancel contracts with foreign oil companies if their actions were threatening national interests. With President Nasultan Nazarbayev appointing Maxatid in to lead negotiations, Kazmoney Gas further increased its stake in January 2008 after its six partners in the Kazakh government agreed on compensation for the probable five-year delay that was taken in developing the field. ENI operated this project under the JV company name of Egypco. Following the agreements reached on October 31, 2008 between Kazakh authorities and co-ventures under the North Caspian PSA, operatorship of the NCPSA was formally transferred from AGIPKCO to a new company. North Caspian Operating Company BV, on January 23, 2009. In October 2008, Egypt KCO handed a $31 million letter of intent for feed work on Phase 2 to a joint venture of Acre Solutions, Worley Parsons and CB and I. Worley Parsons and Acre Solutions are also engaged in Phase 1, carrying out engineering services, fabrication and hookup. In November 2012, ONGC Videsh agreed to buy Comico Phillips's 8.4% stake. The Kazakh government, however, decided in July 2013 to use its preemptive right to buy Comico Phillips's stake, which it sold to CNPC later that year. The deal was already approved by ENI. On September 11, 2013, Kashagan began oil production after years of delay, 
with ExxonMobil and ConocoPhillips planning to increase production over the next several years. The oil and gas minister of Kazakhstan has estimated the oil field will pump 8 million tons of oil in 2014. When the pipeline was shut down, hydrogen sulfide remaining in the pipe was burned off as an emergency measure, releasing sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. As a result, in March 2014, Kazakhstan's Environment Ministry levied a fine upon the operating companies of $735 million. Geology the Kashagan contract area covers an area of over 5,500 square kilometers and consists of five separate fields, producing formations from the Pre-Caspian Basin. These fields are Kashgan, Kalamkas, A, Kashagan Southwest, Aktot and the Chiron. Kashagan is a carbonate platform of late Devonian to middle Carboniferous age. The reef is about 75 km long and 35 km across with a narrow neck joining two broader platforms. The top of the reservoir is about 4,500 meters below sea level and the oil column extends for over 1,000 meters. The field is in very shallow water, 3 to 9 meters deep. The seal is middle Permian shale and late Permian salt. The reservoir consists of limestones with low porosities and permeabilities. The oil is a light oil with 45 API gravity with a high gas oil ratio and hydrogen sulfide content of 19%. The field is heavily overpressurized, which presents a significant drilling challenge. The figures for oil in place range between 30 and 50 billion barrels with a common publicly quoted figure of 38 billion barrels. The recovery factor is relatively low due to reservoir complexity with between 4 and 13 billion barrels being the estimated ultimate recoverable resource. Three of the other fields in the contract area, Kashagan SW, Chiron, and Aktot, are also carboniferous carbonate platforms. Kalamkas offshore has a Jurassic sandstone reservoir. Equals repairs equals, because the pipeline was manufactured with ordinary steel, it was susceptible to high levels of corrosion from the high levels of H2S. A new pipeline made of nickel steel is to be installed. Development The field is developed by the International Consortium under the North Caspian Sea Production Sharing Agreement. The agreement is made up of seven companies consisting of INI, Royal Dutch Shell, Total SA, ExxonMobil, Kaz Money Gas, China National Petroleum Corporation, Inpex. The main development for the field operation is a structure named Island D, connected with 12 oil wells. It consists of two trains of production, separating oil and gas, delivering them to the onshore plant and dehydrating and partly re-injecting the sour gas into the reservoir. In 2012, about 5,000 workers were employed there. Oil is transported onshore by a 92-kilometer long pipeline. Workers are accommodated on the living quarters barge Vivaldi delivered by Wagenborg Offshore in cooperation with Wagenborg Kazakhstan BB and a Caspian contractor LLC. The initial production is expected to be 370,000 barrels per day. It should reach a production rate of 1.5 million barrels per day. See also, Oil and Gas Basins of Kazakhstan, Trans-Caspian Oil Pipeline. References External links, Silk Road Intelligencer, Kashagan, Kashagan, a look at Caspian Sea oil and natural gas production.